4, verse 20. Man. Romans chapter 4, verse 20. And it reads, He staggered not at the promise of God to unbelief, but was strong in faith, giving glory to God. Yeah. He staggered not at the promise yes, of God uh -huh. in unbelief, yeah. but was strong in faith. Yeah. Amen. Amen. He was strong in faith, giving glory to God. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Look to your neighbor and say, Stop, Stop. Stop. Staggering. staggering. Look to your other neighbor and say, Stop. Stop. Look to your other neighbor and say, Stop! Staggering! Y'all got a job, boy. Y'all may be seated. Y'all may be seated. But look to your neighbor and say, Stop! Staggering! Now, look, I don't know what comes to y'all mind when you hear the word staggering. Drunk, drunk. Huh? Yes, sir. Huh? 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 What comes to your mind? Uh, uh, uh. Drunk, mm -hmm. unstable, didn't take your V8. Imbalanced, mm -hmm. didn't take your V8. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Why are we talking about the we talking about the word staggered this morning? Mm -hmm. Staggered. What, what comes to your mind when you think of that word, word? Staggering. Drinking too much. Drinking too much. <laughs> see, see, I'm glad we all agree on this. I'm glad we all agree on this. Amen. And then when we look to our neighbor. And we told our neighbor to stop what? Staggering. We really want them to stop staggering. Stop <laughs> it right. But, you know, this is how, this is the picture. This is the picture. If you look at yourself, look at yourself real close and ask yourself, are you staggering? Huh? And I believe when God promised you something, God promised us something, y'all. Amen. God promised us life and life more abundantly. God promised us that we were going to be, uh, as our soul prospered, we was going to prosper. God promised us that this earth is not our home, that He's going to prepare a place for us. Amen. God promised us so many things in His Word. He promised. Yes, he did. And he's a promise keeper. Yes, he is. So the problem is not with him. It's a problem, y'all. We seek in God and all that he can do for us. Amen. 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 The problem is not with him. It's with us. That's right. That's right. Staggering. God told anybody, God told you he was gonna take care of you. Yes, sir. Oh, yes. And you still worry. Yes. Uh -huh. Anybody in here? God told you he's going to take care of your children, your problems, yeah. your, your situations. He said, don't worry about what you're going to eat, That's right. what you're going to drink, or what you're going to put on. He said, I'll provide for you. I know what you need even before you ask All him. Right. All of us. And some of us are still staggering right. and missing out yeah. on what God has for us. Amen. Turn Amen. to your neighbor and tell him to stop. Stop. Staggering. Staggering. Hey, man, we're going to go through a word on today, y'all. Well, this man, he believed God, he trusted God, and he got exactly what God promised him. How many of y'all want all your promises from God? Amen. Amen. Huh? Huh? I thought about that commercial, y'all. They say, um, when an um, uh, insurance um, company owe you some money, and they don't want to pay y'all the money at one time, or they want to break it up. Y'all seen the um, people yell out the window? It's mine, and I want it now. Y'all see y'all know that commercial? It's mine, and I want it now. Y'all got to be like that with your promises. You got to know that that promise is yours. Yeah. And you want it now. You have to stop staggering and stand sure-footed and silent and walk straight up with God and believe God and trust God. Amen. Now, we can really call this Bible go home now that I gave y'all the end of the sermon. No. no. No, no, no. But I, I want to go through this word with y'all. Y'all, y'all turn, y'all got your Bibles open to Romans chapter 4. And we're gonna go through it. I don't want to keep y'all for a long, long time. 
I want you to leave here straight up. Amen. Not stumbling like most people leave the club, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you ain't got to do that. You ain't got to do that. I said, Lord, have mercy. I had some friends, y'all know, I never knew how people could just do that. We were leaving the road, you know. Um, <laughs> last week. Last week. Yeah. And this girl couldn't even, couldn't even stand up, right? They had to hold on one side and the other side. <laughs> I said, God, yeah. Yeah. I know, man. It can't be fun. It can't be fun. That can't be fun. That can't be fun. I don't know. I don't know. I hope there ain't nobody in here that get plastered like that. <laughs> plastered. White boy wasted is what we call it. <laughs> no, 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 no. You don't gotta get like that. You don't gotta, don't do that. Don't do that. Staggering. Staggering. A lot of people are just like that in that faith. Drunk. Unbalanced. That's right. Make it plain. Unbelief. Speak well. But he said, y'all wonder, I don't know about y'all, but when I, when I said that, do y'all know who I'm talking about when he said he staggered not? No, in the Bible. It's talking about somebody in this Bible. That everybody should know about, huh? You know it. What you say, Jesse? Jesus. Jesus, not Jesus, not Jesus. Not Jesus. But that's why that's why the preacher's here today, and that's why we're gonna go over this word. All right now. Yeah, I got a purpose-driven life. Amen. I'm here for a purpose to preach God's word so that you can hear it and have faith. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. I am somebody. Amen. Praise God. Nah. All right, y'all there? Y'all got your Bibles open? Amen. And we're gonna go more in depth in the Bible study on Wednesday, so y'all please be here at Bible study. Amen. I want everybody to have your Bibles open. 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock on the dot. Be on time. Mm. All right. Now, 4. Back up to verse 17. Amen. Amen. 4 and 17. Praise you have your Bibles open? Follow amen. through with me and say amen. Now, amen. Don't, don't play with me. If you don't know what I'm saying, amen. you raise your hand and say, back up, Pastor. <laughs> All right, because I want you to get this because I need you to know that you're sure in your faith. Amen. And that you believe. And that you are the righteousness of God. Verse 17 says, As it, as it is written, yes, yes. I have made thee a father mm -hmm. of many nations, yes, before whom he believed, uh -huh. before him whom he believed, uh -huh. even God, who quickeneth the dead, and calleth those things which be not as though they are. Yeah. We have here the author of this book called Romans Paul was writing, and he was letting the Romans know about Abraham, the father of the faith, uh -huh. the man that believed God. Amen? Amen. Anybody here know about Abraham? Amen. Okay, okay. Abraham, he had a wife named Sarah. Amen? Amen. Abraham was in his father's country, and God called Abraham to leave his father's country and to go out on his own. Where, where he never been before, y'all, this is called faith. Amen. Where he had never been before, to do something he had never done before, to call them out as his own nation. This is the beginning, y'all, of the Jews. This is Abraham, y'all. Amen. And the Muslims. Mm -hmm. Abraham, his son was called Isaac and Ishmael. But before all this came about, y'all, there was nothing. There was nothing. But Abraham believed right. on God's word. That's right. Now a lot of us, y'all, God said in faith, we, we don't even see it. We don't even see it. But he called us to walk on it. Not by things that you see, but things that you do not see. Yeah. That's what God has said. It's not faith if you can see it. That's right. God want to work a miracle in your life. Amen. And it's not faith if you can see it. A lot of us go on because we're so stuck in this human nature. If we can see it, then we'll do it. That, that's, that's, that's a natural sense. If we can see it, then we'll do it. Mm. And that's why a lot of us miss out on the miracles. So right. many miracles right. that God got for us in our life. Amen. Because Amen. we don't think Amen. we can do it. We don't think we can make it. I remember y'all growing up in church. Y'all see these seven acres that we're sitting on right now? Yes, sir. I don't know if you can peek out a window and look as far as you can see. You see, you see seven acres all around us. Now look on the inside of here. I'm talking the truth, I'm just Look on the inside. Of, look on the inside of here. Some people will say, 
it's not enough. That's not enough of us to do anything. That's right. We can't get it done. Look at look at the, look at the finances that we bring in on every Sunday. We can't afford to do nothing on this property. Look at look at us. It's just a small group of us. What can we do? Oh, poor us. We can't do nothing. I know Pastor say he want to build on these seven acres, but what we gonna do? We can't do nothing. And they got somebody else in here that believe with me. When you look out on these seven acres, you see it already. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. It's not there. Yeah. But you see it already. Mm -hmm. You see the buildings up being built. Amen. You see the nice uh, destruction coming up. You see, I don't know about y'all, but um, I, I look and I can see what's not even there. Yeah. I can see what's not even there. Good. And y'all, it's things in your life that God has put in your spirit for him to give him glory. I ain't talking about your brand new Maserati. I ain't talking about the Maserati I'm going to have one day in my garage. I'm not even talking about that. Amen. I'm not even talking about my garage that I'm going to have. I ain't talking about that, Sister Shaw. I ain't talking about, I can see myself picture me rolling. <laughs> I can see, I ain't even talking about that. Yeah. I'm talking about whatever God put in your life. Yes. Amen. Amen. It's going to glorify Him. Right. People are going to look at what you've done. And they're going to glorify God. That's right. Because you did it through him. Amen. Now God has blessed each and every one of us with talents. That's right. To glorify him. That's right. I don't know what your talent is. I don't know what your gift is. But God gave you that gift to glorify him. Yeah. And it's amazing. Yes, sir. Some of the things that he's shown you in your life that you're going to accomplish for him. It amazes you. Amen. This is what happened to Abraham, y'all. This is what happened. It amazed him on what God had said. But Abraham believed God. Yes. Look what he said, verse 17. As it is written, I have made thee a father of many nations. Uh, it's written. Where is it written at? Turn in y'all Bibles to Genesis chapter 17. I got I to gotta do that with y'all. I'm going to give everybody a little background on what we're talking about so you can be a little bit more familiar with what we're talking about. Genesis chapter 17. Amen. Amen. Genesis chapter 17. Oh, Abraham, boy, I tell you, I laugh as I studied this, y'all, because I can picture him in his old age. <laughs> All right, Mr. Lover Man Abraham. Mm -mm. <laughs> y'all y'all know, look, can I be real with y'all? Get, get the kids out of here. No, I'm just kidding. No, but um, Abraham, y'all know God had promised Abraham when he left his father's house. I'm going to stop saying y'all know, because some of y'all don't know, and I'm not going to take it for granted. I used to be in school um, telling people about the things in the Bible, and they used to be like, what? And I used to think everybody was raised in Sunday school with me, but they wasn't. They wasn't. So I'm not going to take it for granted that everybody know everything in the Bible right now. But Abraham, y'all, when he was called out of his father's country, God blessed him. God put a blessing on his life. He said, you're going to be a father of many nations. Amen. You're going to be a father of many nations. Abraham wasn't even a daddy yet. He wasn't even a father, didn't have no children. And it took Abraham all the way to the age of 86. Man. 86 years old. Mm -hmm. Sarah and her suggestion, her good suggestion yeah. itself, huh? Yeah. Say, well, God promised us a child. So, um, Abraham, why don't you, because you're getting kind of old, 86, y'all. Yeah. 86 years old. Yeah. Uh, Abraham, you get getting kind of old, and maybe we need to God, help God out. So go ahead and sleep with the maid, Hagar. And then when the baby is coming, I have her on my lap, so I'll be like the mother, like the, you know, and it'd be my child. But it, I'm too old, and you getting up there, 86 years old, 85. But when his son was born, Ishmael, he was 86 years old, y'all, and he had a baby with a young maid, and the baby's name was Ishmael. God promised Abraham something, and God is promising us something, y'all. And I want to let y'all know, you don't have to do anything out of the way to help God out. You believe what God told you he's going to do through you. Amen. And some people, y'all know, I say in our day and age, God promised us something, and you try to help him out by doing something, a lie, or illegal, or anything that, you know, help God out. You ain't got to do none of that, y'all. You wait on God. Yeah. You wait on God. Amen. Amen. Wait. Amen. 
Amen. Oh God. Amen. Praise God. Alright, now we're gonna go through this little background. Y'all got it? Genesis Amen. chapter 17. Yes, sir. And I'm gonna read it. Genesis chapter 17. Y'all please um please hear this. The young kids, Joseph, Jedediah, y'all y'all got the word open down there? Because this is what y'all gonna need. This is what y'all gonna everybody got a Bible? Anybody here need a Bible? Everybody? Everybody? Everybody got a Bible you're looking on right now? Because this is a this is history where a lot of people, you know, get confused right now. Uh-huh. They'll be confused. And they'll confuse you. If you don't know, they'll confuse you. And I don't want nobody in here to be confused. Amen. You need one back? Seventeen. Yeah, Genesis chapter seventeen. Y'all please, um Okay, I I share. You sure? Genesis chapter seventeen. We got Bibles everywhere, so if you don't have one, lift up your hand. Get your Bible, read this, know this. All right, all right. Oh, please, Lord, help me, because I don't want to keep y'all too long. But you got to get it. You got to get it. Genesis chapter 17, it reads, And when Abram, y'all see that? Not Abraham. When Abram was 90 years old and nine, he was 99 years old, the Lord appeared to Abram, and said unto him, I am the Almighty God. All right? He appeared to Abram and said, What? I am the Almighty God. He appeared to Abram and told Abram, 99 years old, I am the Almighty God. Now, I don't know about y'all, but the appearance of God to any one of us in here, yes. the appearance alone, Will drop us. Will drop us. Amen. Will drop us. Oh God. He appeared to me and I fell. He appeared to me and I fell. He said, Who the man? I said, You. Out of breath. You the man. You the man. He appeared to me, y'all. I got this in my life. I got this in my life. In worship, he appeared to me and I seen who he really was. He appeared to Abram and said, I am. The Almighty God. That's who I am. That's who I am. Anybody in here that believes in God, you must believe that He is. Amen. You must believe that He is the Almighty God. I'm trying to make us more sure in our faith that we will stop staggering this morning. I got a purpose up here. I'm not just preaching to entertain nobody. I want us to stop staggering in our faith. He appeared to Abraham and told Abraham, I am. The Almighty God. Yes. That's who He is, y'all. And you got to know that in your life. In your life, He is the Almighty God. I don't care what you go through, what you face. Anybody say anything in life that you can't do it? You know, it's not enough for you. It's not enough of us. I don't see how it's going to happen. You believe God. Amen. Speak well. God said, yeah. I am the Almighty God. That's who I am. Walk before me and be thou perfect. Mm. Now, this is instruction, not just to Abram, y'all. Y'all are gonna find this out later on in the scripture. Not just to Abram, but to us. Right, man, man. To know that he's the Almighty God. He told Abraham to walk before me. Walk before me. Oh, God is awesome, y'all. Yeah. God's eyes on us. He's looking at us. Amen. Walk before me and be thou 